Hello YouTube. Now, I don't need to do an intro because if you've seen the thumbnail, you've <laughs> you've seen what I've got here. I'm super excited. I've been waiting a long time to get this saw, and it's definitely my favourite chainsaw. Um, got myself a 200T. Basically, it's going to go over what, what the crack is with this saw and um, why I've got it. And this has been completely stripped down, built up, and then like loads of OEM parts put back on it. Um, as you can see, it's black. It's been um, dyed and powder coated. <coughs> so, yeah, I've got a few cool bits to put on it as well. Um, just a few other extra little things that I'm going to chuck on. So, so yeah, let, let's have a look at it. So I got this saw from a guy up in Newcastle, north of England, uh, called Jack Rutherford. He's got um, he just started like his own Instagram page and stuff, and he's doing doing more more stuff like this. But this it's not been ported. It's not of any. It's basically stock in terms of the engine and stuff it's just all been stripped down the uh, the crankcase has been split um, all that's been powder coated all the plastics have been dyed all the internals it's had all new parts um, clutch and the cylinder has all been uh, skimmed and faced and all cleaned up and new piston rings all that sort of thing everything's been done from the ground up I know a lot of people port these and make them a lot more powerful and stuff but um, I'm not really interested in that, it's more than it's more than powerful enough for what I need and I'm going to be using it as a work saw so I don't want to be running the tits off the thing. Um, I mean I might get it done in the future, I don't know but I'm just happy to have it OEM all like a brand new saw basically in, inside. So I've got a box of bits here of things to chuck on it. Um, some All this stuff's from Skyland um, in Liverpool. So. Shout out to them uh, for Skyland for supplying more bits. I was looking around for an original 200 one, you know, like the the, the smaller ones. I knew it. I couldn't really find one in good nick. And, and this thing, I couldn't believe it. Five quid, five quid flat for a new one. Mad. Skyland. Cheers, guys. New uh, tool shop for it. Bright orange Triog one. I've got the. Um, this is the. Like the the heavy duty one I think it is I've got the lighter duty one like the, the cheaper one that's like 15 quid or something I've got that on my 150 and I love how the, the little ring is, is really small and it, it just clips onto your eyes really easy and quick so I thought I'd get the same one but bigger Triog are kind of known for making entry level stuff like equipment but this is the, for a, a tool strap I think it's, it's brilliant <coughs> and then from um, Barsandchains.com or Chainsaw Bars. I don't, I'll, I'll put the link in the description or something. I've decided to go for um, first time ever the Oregon Bar and Chain. So this is um, the Oregon Speed Cut Nano. Uh, it's it's an in between size, so it's it's um, a little bit bigger than a quarter inch pitch, and it's a little bit smaller than the three eighths. So the idea is, I think they designed it for electric chainsaws like for the the like one sixth uh, well a new new one that stills brought out and the husky whatever the husky one is it's supposed to be a really good saw this is a whole kit so so in here it's going to be the um hold me in a sec it's going to be a bar, bar and chain bar chain and um <coughs> the sprocket as well in there because it's all you buy the kit i'm um, running a 12 inch bar i know a lot of people want to run the 14 that's that's fine but I ran a 14 on a modified 201 that I used to have. Um, that was that was ported in time in advance and stuff, and it, it was belting. But I just want to run the 12 inch on this, and with a yeah, I'll just cut to a bigger saw if I need to. Filing kit that comes with it. These are awesome. I know you don't need these. You can just get like files, flat files, and then, you know your depth gauge and stuff. You can do that. But I just love how I got one of these for all the saws, and I just find it just easier because I just pick that up and it's you sharpen the saw with it. it just has everything in that you need in there so and I've got the um I've got the GoPro and I really want to show you a closer up of this closer up of this closer up of this close a closer view of this <laughs> but I'll just put my helmet on so you can see <laughs> so you can see it <laughs> well with the helmet on in the shed <laughs> alright so hopefully you can see that a bit better there's the saw I'm basically just showing you a 200 which you've seen before but I mean look at the quality of it it's, it's an old side cover um, 
that's in pretty good nick that looks new so you get um why oh, stickers yes <laughs> and chuck that on there oh fantastic you can't can't beat uh stickers can you that'll be sprocket there's a chain he doesn't want much different though Nine tooth, I think this is. Lovely. There's your sprocket. Speed cut nano. You wouldn't know looking at it what size it was. One, one thing I did find, I don't know if I was being a bit daft, but I was trying to find the actual file size that it uses and, and there was nothing, I'm not being read there, but it doesn't say the file size on it. But I just assumed you're not going to go 3.8 because it's bigger, so I've gone for the uh, for 4.0, which is 5.32. If, um, in fact, if you read that one, I can't do them ones, but this is the... Uh, I'm sure you've all seen one of these before, but they're really good for the, worth it for the money because you just don't lose anything either. Look at that. You can still do them as well. I've got still one, but I think these are better quality. File handles are better. You get a flat file, round file, and whatever that thing's called. File holder. But I probably won't be using that to be honest, but hey oh, there it is. And then you've even got um, the bar scraper in there as well, and you can obviously measure your um, all your bar and chain and everything with, with that. So it all just comes together in this nice little nice little pouch thing. I'll show you a still one though, because I've got a still one. If you've never seen the still one, it's basically the same thing. But I do like the file hand the Oregon file handles better. Um, so this is just for me 150. So same deal, you get obviously that tool that you get from the still, which you probably would have seen before. So you've got your bar scraper on the end of there, and then uh, do your depth gauges there. But what I do with them is, because I had a couple still ones, I've just got a little piece of paper there that tells me what it is. So it says M8, MS, you know, 150T, 1 8th, 3.2mm, uh, quarter inch pitch. So yeah, something I've never really touched on before, but yeah. Get, get these in your life. The one thing I've not got is um, like an impact wrench. So I'm just going to do it old school with a rope in there to get the clutch off. So it ropes in, turn that clockwise, it's solid. I've got a 13mm, it should be, yeah, 13mm. Yeah, buddy. Spin this off. There's your clutch off. The sprocket should just pull out like that. Just a bit of lithium grease on the bearing. Spark plug back in. One thing I do when you try and put, I know it's going to oil anyway, but I just like to put a bit in anyway. Just before I put the. Uh, I put the uh, bar on and show you. Where's it gone? Here it is. You 
can see that on camera. Just nip it up a bit like that. That's what it's on. Looks smart, doesn't it? I like it. I like it a lot. Obviously, got to see how it runs, so. I'm going to unstart it now. I might film it, but I'm going to do obviously a video when I first kick it up. But, um, yeah, sorry, I'll go and start it. A good idea for Jet, yeah. few tweaks you know the uh, once I've used it a bit and got it got it bedded in and what have you <coughs> and chuck the uh, scabbard on new scabbard mint there we go and we'll chuck this on as well in the carabiner for it exciting stuff so I like to start my weekend fantastic well this is coming off now well thanks for watching see how it goes on like I said big shout out to Jack he's not done this work specifically for me um, he'd done the work on the saw he bought it done done the work on it and then just put it up for sale and I bought it and I I had no idea that he'd done the work himself when I was chatting to him. I'll let you know when when I go to a job where I'm using it, it'll be getting filmed. <laughs> I know I've got a good one coming up next week, which will be good for it, I think. So, so yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.